Welcome to another video in the Lantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In this video, we will talk about the chapter 9 of the book, which is titled is Nomenclature. This can also be termed is creating the list of abbreviations. The very first thing which is to be executed is to go to the options and click on configure tick studio and under the option commands we will have to change the make index to this command so first we will have to select all this command and then go to tick studio and click on option configure tick studio and under the commands this is to be pasted here and then the changes are to be saved this has been shown in the figure like from option we will go to configure tick studio and then under the commands we will have to write the command mentioned in the book over here this will create our list of abbreviation whenever it is required now in order to write nomenclature in a lattic document the following package is to be used in the preamble which is use package nomen cl and then slash nomenclature the place where nomenclature is to be printed the following command is to be written over there print nomenclature Let's go to the LaTeX document and start writing document class and the document class is a book. Let me increase the font size so that it is to be visible. In the option bracket we can write like this is A4 paper. It is 12 point and it is book and now we will have to use package and the package is nomen cl and then we will have to paste this command as well let me copy this one from here make nomenclature and it is paste here and now with the usual begin document and end document and let's say first we let's say I just write A here and we will draw document and our document is built here so now we will have to follow the steps how to define an abbreviation so this thing is to be noted that wherever the nomenclature is required or the list of abbreviation is required we will have to write this command at that place to define nomenclature or abbreviation the command nomenclature and then curly brackets here a pair of curly brackets are used in the first curly bracket the symbol or abbreviated form is written noting that usually the symbols are enclosed in the dollar symbol while for the general abbreviation dollar symbols are not required while in the second curly bracket the complete name is written in section 9.1 we consider an example of a paragraph in which we will define different abbreviations for example this first paragraph we are defining scanning electron microscopy SEM so we want this one to appear in the list of abbreviations so immediately after this one I will have to write the command slash nomenclature and then I will write in the first curly bracket ACM and in the second curly bracket scanning electron microscopy 
प्लीज नोट दैट दिस पोर्शन विच इज रिटन डायरेक्टली इन देयर इट विल नॉट अपेयर इन द प्रिंट आउट ऑल द हाईलाइटेड दिस पोर्शन विल नॉट अपेयर इन द प्रिंट आउट सो लेट मी डू दिस एग्जाम्पल्स इन माई टेक डॉक्यूमेंट एन आई कॉपी दिस वन एन आई गो टू माई टेक डॉक्यूमेंट एन पेस दिस वन so the very first thing that i will have to define is the acm so i will write slash better to give a space so that line breaking is not a problem and i will say nomenclature so i double click then the symbol here is acm and the description there i will have to copy now here and then in the description i will just paste it here slash this we and after the begin document this and i start this from a new page and i build this and now you can see nomenclature is here while my paragraph is here so this way we have defined the very first one similarly we can go with the other one like x ray diffraction so i will write slash nomenclature and here is x ray d and i will just copy in the description this one c and we and as i built document as well and now i see that here x ray diffraction is not a fair so i will have to go again to this one make index and then i will the document and now it is appearing here x ray similarly i do for this like you see here replaced by the tm so first i do copy this and then i go here slash nomenclature and then for the symbol just write tm and in the description box is transmission electron microscopy similarly ftar so let me first copy this portion this is the description and then slash nomenclature and here i will write the ftar and in the description i will have to write its description of what it is being defined i built my document and i can see it would have not done the thing so the steps are go to this make index and then build your document and your list of abbreviations is here the nomenclature is here is the nomenclature here is an alphabetical order so this will stop duplicating them or repeatedly defining them in section 9.2 we will try to make the list of abbreviations or nomenclature from symbols in an equation for example if we consider the equation e equal to h nu equal h bar omega and now we would like to define that what is e h nu h bar and omega then we will have to follow like this first we will write the equation and then we will say nomenclature and then is this is these are you can say parts of the equation so we will have to enclose them in dollar symbol e energy of the particle nomenclature so h plan constant 
h bar reduce plan constant and similarly nomenclature new is the frequency and here we will print the nomenclature at this point and it will make our nomenclature like this h bar means h then e then new and then h bar so they are also in an order and this order from here it is for the greek symbol order and from here it is in alphabetical order so i can directly copy paste this thing there let me first write the equation after this let me first write the equation begin equation and the equation is e equals h nu and this is equal to slash h bar slash omega and i build this in order to see that the equation is there and here is the equation reduce this a little bit and maximize this more and i can see that my equation is not there and paste this one similarly wrote in here and this is done here we is the print nomenclature command is here but we have already given the print nomenclature at the start of the page so we will not repeat this one here this one is sufficient that we have written here now i go to build and as i build the document i can see that i will have to first do make index and then do this thing so i go to tools index and then build my document and now you can see that they are you can see the equation the symbols they have been written first and then rest of the abbreviations so this is the very easy way to create list of abbreviations in section 9.3 we will generate list of abbreviations as we know that in our list of abbreviations the heading is written as nomenclature so we would like to change this one to list of abbreviations so how to do this thing we will have to renew our command so this is the command which we will use renew command nom name nom name means nomenclature name and it will be replaced by list of abbreviation so i will have to copy this and after the make nomenclature i am just pasting this one and now i will have to run index and then i will build the document and now you can see that the nomenclature has been replaced by the list of abbreviations similarly if i look here then this is very properly spaced but if i look here then they are almost congested so in order to avoid this thing we will have to use the command print nomenclature and then after this one space is defined in the square brackets and this is 3 cm so if i give here after print nomenclature i give the square brackets and then 3 cm then it will generate 
three centimeter space here between the abbreviations in the description this is also um, directly can be pasted here as you know if i write print nomenclature then there is print nomenclature and there is print nomenclature space so it automatically comes there if i click here then it will require me space so as i have written the print nomenclature already so i will just write here three centimeter directly and then i will go to tools and index and then i will build the document and now you can see that they are very properly spaced so i can give it my desired spacing like one centimeter two or more then it will design or list of abbreviation like this this is the way how to generate list of abbreviations thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video